New to Photoshop CS6 is a family of blur filters called Blur Gallery. There are three of them. Iris Blur for establishing a shallow depth of field, Field Blur for establishing a graduated blur, and Tilt Shift for establishing a special effect blur. Let's take a look at how they work. So the first one I want to show you is Iris Blur. We come down here to Blur, and what we want to do is get a shallow depth of field. Maybe we don't have the right camera, maybe we don't have the right lens, but all I have to do is drop a pin where I want the area of focus to be, and I can use these control points to tailor where my blur starts and ends. And in fact, I can option click to pull them in independently. I can change the shape of the outlying area. And simply by clicking on this wheel, I can make the image softer or sharper really quickly and easily. And I can fine tune it on the right here by adjusting the light bokeh, change the color, or the light a bit. What's interesting is I can even add an additional point of focus. So if I want to bring his hand back in focus, I just drop a pin there, and I've done that. I can do things that are photographically impossible by dropping multiple pins here. Now let's take a look at Tilt Shift. So with this image here, again, I'm going to come down to Filter, Blur, and come into Tilt Shift. And I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this a bit. And you see I get my angle overlaying the image. I can pull this down as I want it. These can move independently. And I can grab that wheel and have less or more blur really quickly and easily. This is all done on canvas. It's GPU accelerated. It's very fast, very fluid. And adjust the bokeh, both the light and the color. I have a lot of control over this. What's great is it's really just as simple as clicking on the image. So there you saw the changes to Blur Gallery, which allow you to quickly and easily blur your image point by point.